Hello, my beautiful Aries, Brenda Terrell here with your general extended reading for the week of January the 30th to February the 5th. Now, I've taken time to shuffle these cards, and these are the two cards for finance and career that came out, and they literally flew out of the deck. You've been given the heart card, and this is about possible emotional spending that may have gone on in the past, especially over the, um, you know, the holiday season. You may have uh, gone out and overextended yourself a little bit. You may be tapping into the help from someone else so that you can collaborate joint finances together that will help you meet your, uh, your responsibilities better and easier. Some of you may be seeking out financial guidance and counseling uh, at this time to get your finances organized. But then, on the other hand, some of you may have the ability to do that yourself for other people. I think you could be getting involved in some sort of life coaching or some sort of coping skill coaching for people to guide them. You might be getting involved in accounting or bookkeeping or uh, investment or finance of some sort as well. This is a job I think you're going to love. Uh, I always say when you choose a profession that you love, getting paid will be the bonus. Coming in next, you have the eggs. And some of you may be starting over. Uh, you could be saving up to be able to do that. Maybe you want to open your own business uh, and you're going to be starting over and setting up a better course of action and plan when it comes to having resources and money. You want to actually have that insurance to fall back on when it comes to a savings account. Some of you could be getting involved in the healthcare sector. This could be a new opportunity that's presenting itself and it will give you the insurance that you need to pick and choose this, this job that you're going to care for. Um, healthcare is a beautiful thing. It's a large uh, spectrum of subjects and topics and uh, you know, lots of things different, such as you know, holistic healing, spiritual healing, you know, Western healing, uh, you know, you could be getting into nutrition. You could be getting into a lot of different things, but some of you might be considering that. You might be wanting to get involved in something like that as well. So all in all, I think that you're going to have the resources to do what you want. Uh, some of you may be opening your own business, whether it's passive and on the side, or whether you're considering going out and opening your own business that will involve counseling, guiding, and helping other people. Wow. Interesting. Okay, coming in with your romance part and relationship part of this reading. Let's see what we have here for you, my beautiful Aries. Let's see what we have here for you. Okay, spirit. This could be same sex. This is uh, twin flames, soulmates, um, singles, married, love mate, playmate. Okay, love mate, playmate, or life mate. Well, you've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You, some of you may have already met someone. And you've got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So some of you may be questioning. You may have just met somebody new. You're finding that all the puzzle pieces fit, that you're connecting and bonding very quickly. And you're wondering, is this really the soulmate I've been calling in? Well, this could very well be. You, you may want to enjoy your time together. You could be planning a trip, a small respite, removing yourself from the chaos and the outside uh, noise of the world. You might be wanting to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with each other, learning uh, about each other, but sharing your emotions and being transparent and open with each other. Enjoy this. Uh, this is beautiful. Um, I love this picture. It's Venice. And yes, I took my honeymoon uh, in Venice and over in Italy and other cities as well. And it looks just like this. It's beautiful. So yes, you could have already met your soulmate and you could be planning a trip, a getaway, a respite, a retreat of some sort where you want to be together with each other and get to know each other even better or tap into the energy of each other again. If you already have a significant other, it might be time to reconnect. It might be time for you to get away and to be able to share with each other again all that beautiful love and emotion so beautiful could be planning a trip to go somewhere okay coming in next you have with the outcome card let's see what you need to release you need to uh let go of you need to uh, accept 
changes that you might have to make, but you need to be aware of, see, know, and expect. Let's see what we have here, Spirit, for my beautiful Aries. See what we have here. One. All right. Okay, so the first card you got is surrender to worry. Okay, make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So worry never fixed a problem. We're all aware of it and we're all we're all subject to worry at times, and but it brings on anxiety. And when I say worry can also bring on physical ailments. Uh, we don't want to be walking around with migraines or stomach aches or lack of appetite or emotional eating or just basically not being ourselves. So try not to try not to allow things to bother you. Try not to obsess about things too much this week. Throw it out into the universe and ask spirit to remove that from you. Live in the moment and don't worry about the next nano minute. Now you've got surrender to defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear non-defensive response. So you could be coming up against some challenges, some debates this week, uh, some opposing energy, and you may take things personal, or you may lose your patience at this time. So try to stop worrying about a situation so much. Don't set yourself up to look at something in a negative way and presume and assume things aren't going to work out. Let it go. Don't take things personal this week, okay? It's just don't allow yourself to get in that space of, you know, that space of negativity. Uh, I do think that if you look at something and just listen and you can think about it, breathe in and breathe out and don't jump in to in the heat of the moment with the roar of the lion and then react and regret. Because don't forget, uh, words are things we can't take back. Okay, coming in next with your focus card. So let's see what we have here. here what do they need to focus on? What is the main thing they need to focus on? Well, there we go. Forgiveness brings peace. So as I had said, if some of you are coming up against someone this week that uh, you're going to lock horns with or you have in the past and you're carrying that regret and that that you know that disappointment in your heart um, and even you know you could be feeling defensive about it as well you need to throw it out into the universe with forgiveness it's not easy and we don't have to condone the the incident or the situation that caused the problem uh, we, we don't have to go down that road again with them either, but we need to release that energy because it's not hurting them, it's hurting ourselves. And we hold that within ourselves. It's so difficult when we have been, we figure we've been, you know, misjudged, we've been hurt, uh, and we find it hard to let go of that energy. But I'll tell you something, once you do, throw it out into the universe, sit there and say, I release this, I let this go, please take this feeling away from me so that I can move forward in a positive, productive, and a happier direction. So on that note, my beautiful, beautiful Aries, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week to look forward to. And I'll see you soon.